So the program I'm going to talk about is the program called Dream Droid, which is available in the um, Android store. It's in-app purchases, and I don't think this one has ads, which is good. The other one does have ads. Okay, I'd like to show you some of the streaming capabilities of the Z Gamma. Now, I'm just going to use my cheap um, RCA tablet that I bought from Walmart. And I'm just streaming, I'm streaming this over the air channel in VLC. Okay, when you start in this app, this Dreambox app, you click here and it has a little thing for profiles. That's where you set up your configuration for your um, uh, for, for your box. So you just go add a box and it'll ask you to enter in, all. you name the box and you uh, enter in the IP information and uh, basically the same thing that you do, very similar to what you would do in the program for um, um, the dream set program except this is a uh, essentially this is a uh, for Android so, but first thing you got to do is connect your your uh, IP address on your uh, Z gamma receiver so you find that out you just go and uh, when you're looking for your Z gamma's IP address you just go to your receiver uh, get the remote and go into the settings and it should be somewhere in the internet settings that will give you if it's connected to the internet it will give you the, uh, the uh, your local IP settings. Mine, I just have it plugged into a uh, to a LAN connection, and you can go to having a remote, virtual remote, and I'll just have a remote. Probably be better if you hold it this way. Now, this is not uh, my phone. I have another app on my phone that has a better remote, but this has uh, this this program here actually does have the ability to stream and select the program that I was able to stream. I haven't been able to with the other Android program. So, so far I've had more success with this program. Uh, you can have a signal meter, which is always a big thing. So right now I'm connected via over the air, but it does the same thing with the satellite. And it's not the biggest, I can't make it bigger, but uh, the other app actually does have a kind of a nicer um, signal meter. So if you're out trying to adjust an LMB or an antenna, mm -hmm. But it does have that, and I like this feature. I can look at the the quality. I'll zoom in on it. So it has a SNR DB, which is 31.40, and the AGC. Someone answered that to me. What the heck that is? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so there's all these features on it. The two features I really like are the signal meter and the the ability and the ability to be able to. Um, stream. So you go to your current event and so what we'll have right here is right now I have it on channel 50.1 WWTI it's uh, Ocean Tweaks with Jeff Corbin it has the e little bit of each because it's over the air it has the EPG information so you go right there where it says stream content it allows you to select the program um, that um, you want. Now I've, I, I haven't seen any success where it says for watch in Dreambox. But that's probably because I need to Google for a few hours to figure out the an extension or plugin or something. So I don't want to do that. I just went through G, uh, VLC and I'm just going to do that just once. And then VLC will come on. And I'm just going to turn it sideways. And there's the program streaming off the Z Gamma box. So it just transfers it to VLC. So it's a great little uh, uh, little app, uh, Dreambox for Android, and it works on my tablet that's a, several years old uh, that I bought for sixty dollars at Walmart. All right, and the uh, program I have on my phone it does some things better than the other than the Dream um, Dream whatever program for the Android that I have on my bigger tablet, but on my phone I have this Enigma Two Toolbox. I'm just trying to find a good program. Now this program does have ads in it, so when you're doing things, you'll have an ad pop up between the stuff. So it has, you know, it tells you all the TV settings. Uh, it can uh, the other program, which I forgot to mention, has the ability to do this too, where you can take a picture off of it, and as I said, it has ads and stuff. But you can kind of monitor what's going on. But you cannot. Um, I haven't gotten this one to stream to VLC, and then there's ads popping up. I'm going to get rid of these. So it has all the stuff that you would expect, like a remote control. The remote control on this one is actually quite much more nicer, I think. It's just bigger, 
um, has more of the buttons that I'd like to see. Um, but these ads are pretty annoying. Like I would pay if this program was, you know, had a better built, I would pay five to ten dollars for this program because if it was built well and it streamed the uh, the video pro properly and the Sat Finder. And oh, you got to hit the play button. Okay, let me hit the play button and then you'll see the signal quality. And it has this, this nice bar um, for tracking your signal. So I think this is, this program, if I were to go out and to adjust a dish or an antenna, I would probably want to use this thing here. Um, it, just something, just want to have a good Wi-Fi connection between you. That's a pretty neat application. All right, when I find my over-the-air channels, I can collect them. No. So I'm just going to click on 50-1 here. And it allows you to uh, zap. You can zap your channel. Uh, you can read your EPG information. Which, uh, nothing's coming up right now. And stream. It does ask you if you want to use the program you want to use. Now, I've tried all these programs, and none of them have worked in this program. It just goes into my media files, and nothing comes up. Uh, I have not had luck with this program, uh, but I'll, I'll might try some other uh, programs. But so far, the other program that I have on my large tablet seems to be the better working one of the of the programs, uh, the, or the apps for Android. So I'll probably stick with that one. I might even just put that one on my phone. My phone is very limited. It has like eight gigs, so I can't put a lot of apps on this thing. Eight gigs used to be a lot, but now for apps like uh, I have like with Facebook and Facebook Messenger, it really takes up most of my phone after having those two apps. So anyway, that's a little look at the Android uh, programs <laughs> that you can get for uh, to run a, a Z Gamma or any uh, any um, what's this operating system Enigma Two operating system uh, box because this one uh, one one of them said for Dreambox was just Enigma Two. But it works for uh, it works for uh, the Zagema, which is a pretty open operating system for a lot of these satellite receivers. So anyway, please like, share, and subscribe this video to all your friends who are fascinated by satellite, by putting a dish in the air and connecting yeah. to an extraterrestrial spacecraft and getting TV and radio signals and all sorts of interesting information. Thank you for watching. Are you looking for a satellite dish? Are you looking for a C-band satellite dish? Are you looking for a mesh dish? The place you want to go to to find that is Tech 2000. Tech 2000. Check out Tech 2000 for all of your satellite products for free-to-air satellite reception. <music>